Good morning, students. Welcome to my second video on uh, sequence. This is sequence two. Okay. And uh, in my last video, I have showed you very basic of the sequences and how to find out the um, uh, nth term and the next two terms of a sequence that has the first difference is common. Okay. Now we're going to find out the quadratic sequence. Okay. That means the second difference is common, not the first difference. Let's say I have this one uh, sequence, 1, 6, 17, and 34. And if you remember the last video, what did we do? We, t we try to find out the difference first. 6 minus 1. Let's, let's do this one first, okay? 6 minus 1, that's first, uh, the second terms, subtract the first term. So I'm going to have here, 6 minus 1 is plus 5. And then when I subtract 6 from that, it's going to be plus 11. And then when I subtract 34, 17 from 34, that's going to give me plus 17. Now the question is asking, what would be the next two terms? Okay. Now, see, it's not like the one we have done before that uh, it's common. Uh, the first time we try to find out the difference and they are all common. Okay. When we look at this, see that this is 5, this is 11, this is 17. Well, it's not like the one we have done before. But if you look closely, 11 minus 5, what that gives you? 11 minus 5. 11 minus 5, that gives you 6, right? So that's going to be positive 6. And look at this one, 17 minus 11, that also gives you 6. So over here, first time we got the uh, uh, got such a difference that was common for all of them. But here, this line, we don't have any common difference. But the second line, we have the common difference. Okay. This type of sequence, we call it quadratic sequences. Okay. Quadratic sequences. Okay. Quadratic sequences. Now, we are ready to find out the other two formulas, uh, other two uh, terms of this sequence. See 17, so 17 plus 6, see that's going to be plus 6. So 17 plus 6 should be 23. So add 23 with 34. So 34 plus 23, that should be 57, my next term. Okay. And then again, uh, 6 with that, plus 6. So 23 plus 6, that's going to be 29 plus 29. And then 57 plus 29, that's going to be 86. Okay, so that's my next two terms. Okay, so that's my next two terms. Now, how are you going to find out the tnth term? Okay. Uh, formula that's going to give me any terms of the sequence I want. Let's say I want a 10th term. Okay, 10th term. How can we find it out? Now, what are you going to do? Uh, since this is a quadratic sequence, remember the quadratic formula is a x square plus b x plus c. That's our quadratic uh, expression. So in this place of x, we're going to replace this one by n because n we is to uh, use for the term. Okay, term number one, term number two. So we use n. So we're going to replace this x by n. Okay, so that's going to be n square plus b n plus c. Now for the first term, look at this. First term is 1. So n is 1. When n equal to 1, when n equal to 1, I have a plus b plus c equal to 1. That's my equation number 1. Okay. Now, if you stick to the end of this uh, video, I'll show you a different way to find out this uh, nth term. This is a very lengthy term. I don't, I don't recommend you to do that, but this is very easy to understand. Okay. And then I'll show you the very interesting and easy method. Okay. To how to find out the nth term of this one. Now, when n equal to 2, then 
2 square is going to be 4. So it's going to be 4a plus 2b. See, n's value is 2 now, 2b plus c equal to, second term is our 6. So that's 6. That equation number 2. And we're going to do one more. Because there are three variables, I need three equations. So n equal to 3. So 3 square is 9, 9a plus 3b plus c equal to third term is 17 so this is going to be 17 and that's equation 3 so what i'm going to do since i have three variables here i'm trying to get rid of c from this two then i'm going to try to get rid of c from this two then i'll have two equations in terms of a and b that's going to be simultaneous equation okay so what i'm going to do see that two uh, if I take two common, I can uh, reduce that in a smaller, simplified that, uh, if I take two common, so it's going to be 2a plus, okay, I have c, I cannot do that, okay, uh, I can, but uh, that's going to be actually more complicated. So let's, let's subtract 1 from 2. So I have 4a plus 2b plus c equal to 6, and then this is a plus b plus c equal to 1. Okay, I'm going to subtract. See, that's this subtract. So this is going to be sign changes, sign changes, sign changes. Okay, so plus A, uh, plus C minus C, that's going to cross out. Then I'm going to have 4A minus A, that's going to be 3A. And 2B minus B, that's going to be plus B. And 6 minus 1, that's going to be 5. And this is my equation number 4. Okay, and same thing I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract 1 from 3, so 3 minus 1, so 9a plus 3b plus c equal to 17, and I have a plus b plus c equal to 1, so I'm going to subtract that again, because I'm subtracting, so that's subtraction, subtraction, so again this c cancel out, so 9a minus a, that's going to be 8a, 3b minus b, that's going to be 2b, and that's going to be 16 minus, 17 minus 1 is 16. Now, 8a plus 2b equal to 16, I can take two common to simplify that. So, 4a plus b equal to 8, and that's my equation 5. Now, look at this 4 and 5. See this 4 and 5, I don't have any c with that. So, if I subtract 4 from 5, Okay, 5 minus 4, so I have 5 over here, and that's going to be 3a plus b equal to 5, that's my 4, and I'm subtracting, so that's subtracting, so b cancel out now, this is going to be a equal to 3, okay, so I already find out the value of a, okay, now what about b, see I can go over here, uh, 4a plus b equal to 8. So I got a already 3. So 4 times 3 plus b equal to 8. So b equal to 8 and this is going to be 12 and it has a positive sign. So when I transpose that, that's going to be minus 12. So that's going to be minus 4. So a equal to 3, b equal to minus 4. I need c now. I'm going to go for the first equation, a plus b plus c equal to 1 a plus b plus c equal to 1, a I know 3, b I know minus 4 plus c equal to 1, so it's going to be minus 1 plus c equal to 1, transpose this one to that side, so c equal to 2, so c equal to 2. Initially, I had this, this thing, so my t nth term over here is going to be 3 n square, 3 a, look at this, um, over here, a n square, a n square plus b n plus c. So a is 3, 3 n square, b n. That means minus 4 n and c is my 2. Now I have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 uh, terms of the sequences. This is t6. Let's see t6, I got that or not. t6 equal to 3, 6 square minus 4 times 6 plus 2. So 3 times 6 square, 6 square minus 4 times 6 plus 2, that is 86, and we did find out 86 over here. 
So this is one of the way to do that. But then again, I don't like this method. I promise that if you stick to the end of this video, I'll show you an easier method. What I want you to do, I want you to circle all these first numbers of each line. First term of the sequence, then the first difference of this uh, first line's first two terms, and then uh, second line's difference over here. So first three numbers, you circle them, okay? Now, what are you going to do? You're going to write down this one. Okay, first, t for tnth term, you're going to write down one. Then, see that one, then plus, you're going to write down this five and leave some space. Okay, and then you're going to write down this six. Okay, see that one, five, six. Now, what I'm going to do, next to five, I'm going to write down n minus one. And over here, I'm going to write down n minus one n minus 2. See, n minus 1, n minus 1, n minus 2, and divided by 2. Whatever I have written here, that's your formula, okay? Now, let's see if it works or not. So, this and this going to cross out, and I'm going to get 3, okay? Now, this is going to be 1 plus, if I take the bracket off, 5n minus 5, and that's going to be 3, and this is going to be n squared, that's going to be minus 3n, if we multiply that, that's going to be plus 2. If I take the whole thing off, 5n minus 5 plus 3n squared minus 3, 3 is a 9n plus 6. So over here is going to be 3n squared, 5n minus 9n, that's going to be minus 4n. Now this is going to be minus 5 plus, minus 5 plus 1 minus 4 plus 6, that's going to be plus 2. See that? That's the exactly thing we have found it out. Now, when you are using this method, there this is a very lengthy process and time consuming. But if you do it this way, it's done over here. So it's not going to take that long. You're going to get it easily. Okay. So that's quadratic sequence formula to find out TN term. Okay. Uh, lastly, there might be some um, sequence like that. Let's say you have um, uh, 12, then you have uh, 6, then you have 3, and what are the next terms? Okay, if you, if you look closely, then this is going to be divided. Okay, divided by 2, that's going to give you 6. Divided by 2, that's going to be 6. So divided by 2, this one you can write down by 3 by 2, and then again divided by 2, and that's going to be 3 by 2 divided by 2, that means 3 by 4, okay? Now, how to write down tnth term, okay? Tnth term is going to be a r to the power n minus 1, okay? This is the formula. I'm going to go details on this one in the uh, topic whenever I'm going to cover AP and GP, okay? AP is arithmetic progression. And GP is geometric progression or geometric sequence. When I'm going to talk about that, then I'll, I'll talk about this uh, really in details. But now what I'm going to explain that what this A, R, N, and, uh, A, R, and N means. Okay. A is the first term. Okay. So put over here, A is 12. R is the common ratio. When you can divide or multiply, this is division. And I think I have done one previously in somewhere, uh, this one here, see that? Multiply, okay, and the, the over here is addition, so common difference is positive, and there is one common difference is negative, this one common difference is negative, so these are known as differences, okay. Either positive or negative, that's common differences. But if we have that this thing is either multiplied or divide, we call that common ratio. Okay, so this is 2. So you can write down 2 means half. Okay, that means uh, half. This uh, If you are changing this sign, uh, division sign to multiplication sign, there is a denominator 1. So it can be 1 by 2. So that, and this is going to be n minus 1. You can use n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. So if you put 1, so 1 minus 1 is 0. So anything to the power 0 equal to 1, so it's 12. If it's 2, 2 minus 1 is 
1 so 1 by 2 to the power 1 is 1 by 2 so this 2 this 12 cross out then it's gonna be 6 if it's 3 then it's gonna be 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 squared is 4 12 divided by 4 is 3 so this is the formula okay for geometric progression uh, very rarely this thing comes but since I'm covering this sequence you should know this okay so that was it and uh, in your O level syllabus there is a very tricky type of math comes I'm gonna explain that in the next video okay please stick around and watch my next video sequence 3 okay thank you have a good day